what's up you guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna show you a simple way of how I do my eyebrows and I haven't had my eyebrows done in a very long time so I just clean up and spruce up what I already have and these are the products that I use so I start out just with the elf spoolie and I just get my eyebrows in some kind of you know order and I kind of just fill them in just a tad bit and I just try to give myself, I try to enhance the shape that I already have. I think I already have a pretty nice shape and I just try to enhance that. This was a very fast video so I know it may not be that clear so that's why I'm slowing it down so you guys can see the exact shape that I'm trying to go for. And I don't put much product on my eyebrows, I just um, fill in what I already have for the most part. So. And I give myself a nice little tail there. See, so look at this one in comparison. You can see that I do have some good thickness, but for some reason, I think when I was in high school, I went to this freaking Indian threading place and they totally jacked up my eyebrows. I was pissed. But anyway. So yeah, I'm just filling it in and I'm filling in the other one the exact same way. I try to make them as identical as possible. One is a little bit fuller than the other, so I try to figure out that kind of stuff. And I just try to get them as identical as possible. So here is where I start cleaning up my eyebrows. So I just gently tap the brush. I'm using the Clean Color Angle Brush. I just gently tap it into this concealer. I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Concealer in NC45. So yeah, I gently tap that brush into a little bit of the concealer just to pick up a little bit because it is very pigmented. And then I kind of warm it up on the back of my wrist. I always do that. And I just go right outside the perimeter. Like if you were just trying to create like maybe like a a silhouette type thing that's always the look I'm going for I just want a nice silhouette that's it like it doesn't have to be super defined but I just want a nice silhouette so I gently go under the eyes just very gently and I cover up a lot of hair too, cause like I was telling you guys, I don't get my eyebrows done anymore or I haven't gotten them done in a very long time and I barely pluck or anything myself. So I just use the concealer the way it's supposed to be used. I mean, if you are a model or an actress, you need to use, I think, like a decent coverage concealer that's really gonna do a decent job concealing. It should really look like you did just get your eyebrows done. Cause I never get my eyebrows done and every time I do my eyebrows I feel like they look decent I feel like um, I do think I need a darker concealer but you can get away with a lighter one if you just fill in the under the under eye so yeah if you just fill in the under eye you may not need much work and as you guys can see I don't go all the way to the little rectangular part of my eyebrow actually I just stop right at the middle and keep going when I'm concealing the top because it's really no big need for me to you know conceal all the way at the top of the eyebrow in my opinion and so I'm just doing the same thing on the other eye now you guys can't see it so yeah sorry about that but um I'm just doing the exact same thing and then I put on a little bit of mascara. So I got this mascara in an influencer box. It was a Vox box and it's actually some really good mascara. It's blue, you pr probably can't see the blue on the screen cause I'm not gonna slow that down cause I wasn't intending on showing it. But if you just caught a little glimpse of it, it is blue. So I just put some of that on and I don't put on any foundation or anything like that but when I am going to take pictures I do put on some powder maybe some translucent powder or maybe some powder that's like sheer the color of my skin just so I won't be shiny but other than that I don't put on a whole bunch of makeup because 
I just really don't be feeling like it. <laughs> I hate taking makeup off and yeah, so I just, I don't. But when it's necessary, I do wear makeup. Like if I was really gonna have to be on like a TV show or something like that, I would definitely, you know, um, put on more makeup because I probably would not have a choice unless, you know, my skin looked pretty good on camera. I would prefer that I didn't have to put on a whole lot of it. So yeah, I'm just, I think I'm putting on the mascara right here and I'm just getting used to this filming setup. So I know everything is like going in and out, but yeah, so I'm trying to work on the lighting. I know the lighting is a little bit and too, but I'm gonna re be refilming all these videos. This is just like, I was just doing my makeup and doing my hair for um, this thing I was about to go to and I was like, you know what, let me film this. Let me record this, cause I think it was pretty cool. I've taken a lot of tips from like, all the great people like Tyra Banks. Every time I go to like, you guys may not know, but I go to auditions. So I do go to auditions, and every time I go to an audition, I definitely, you know, keep all the tips in mind that great, successful people would tell you to do. Like, I dress really plain, I, re I wear really plain makeup, I wear my hair really plain, I don't wear extra high heels, I don't wear, um, you know, like loose clothes, I don't cover up my face that much. This is just me being silly, <laughs> because I was like, you know, this maybe look good with a hat on, and it does. <laughs> so, you know, like I don't do anything that would like not showcase my natural beauty. So, um, yeah, so that's basically some tips I have for you guys, to you ladies, if you want to go to auditions, make sure you're as natural as possible. Like I know my nails are long, but they know these are like, they, they know nails can be changed quickly, you know what I mean? But other than that, like my look, I try to keep it as plain as possible. So I hope this video helps some of you ladies and guys, I hope you like it too, maybe. And rate, comment, subscribe, and as always, hit the bell for notifications. All right, you guys, so I'm just gonna top that off with some lip gloss. This is lip gloss by e.l.f. too. It's like their lip jelly or something like that. It's really good. And I just found a few clips also that I put at the end of the video. This is the spoolie that I didn't show you guys, the e.l.f. spoolie. And this is the NYC brown pencil. And make sure you guys check out my other video on how I did my hair for um, a freelance photo shoot and I also did it the same way for an audition. So check that video out. And thanks for watching guys. Bye.